yeah. Back in the building. I got that glow going on. The sun. Uh, hit me nicely. Yeah. <laughs> we are back in the building. Right. Another edition of the More Small Moment. Regularly done this time. Yep. Yep. So you had one last week. You got one this week. So yeah, we're good to go. You might have had a back few. On track. Yeah. Should have had a few. Yeah. yeah, this is it. Yeah. yeah. We've got the content coming now. So yeah, apologies again for being away for too long. Yeah. But yeah, this week, answer some questions. Yeah, so yeah, this week we've got a lot of questions that you guys have been emailing in. We're gonna tackle those and hopefully This week you... what a lot of questions this week? No. One okay. question. One question? Yeah. No, and okay, alright. As in we've had a lot of questions yeah. that we're going to be tackling. We're only gonna tackle one today. Okay. In this one night. today in this video. Yeah, exactly. But not in this session. There you go. Yeah. So yeah, so today's right? topic we're gonna cool. talk about is polyester. All right. I've, and I've seen this question so many times and recently. I, I don't know if it's the same person. Someone emailed in about polyester. Someone tweeted about polyester. So now we're going to talk about polyester. Cool. I keep seeing polyester everywhere. And the, the basis of the tweets were along the lines of, is it okay to have polyester in your suit? What level, what percentage, what blends is good? Someone else, you know, let me actually read the question. Yeah. Uh, so the first person, they've written, Last time I got a new suit, I was faced with the choice of fabric. I know that one should always go for a natural fiber, for a natural fiber, but how much polyester, viscose, etc., is acceptable in blends? I found a jacket that I felt quite alright, but I had 55% polyester. Also, the lining is, for what I've seen most of the time, 100% polyester. Alright, cool. Where are the tweets at? Let me find them tweets. Real Where quick. the tweets at? Let me find the tweets because someone tweeted us as well. The second part is, is a polyester wool mix acceptable for suits? If yes, how much polyester should there be? Alright, so polyester mix blends. This is a tough one. This is a tough one for me because I... So, you're, you're good? Yeah, good. Okay, this is a tough one for me personally because um, I don't necessarily like polyester blends anymore. I mean, I used to always wear polyester blends before I started having my suits handmade. Mm. Or not handmade, but having them made for me. For me. I tend to go for natural fibres. It tends to be wool, wool and cashmere, <sighs> wool, yeah. cashmere silk at most. You know what I mean? But I rarely go for anything with polyester in it simply because... Rarely or don't? No, I don't. Yeah, no, sorry, I don't. Go, I mean, other than... No, before I did... I had but polyester before linings. when you're buying off no, the peg? No, even when I was buying the made ones, initially the, the linings okay. were polyester or they were rayon. They were either rayon, viscose or polyester. So sometimes but I still polyester have polyester different. linings. Huh? Polyester is different from rayon or viscose in terms of those have more breathable qualities. I know they're different, but I'm saying yeah. I still have polyester. Okay, yeah. go on, go on. Of course they're different. I'll, I'll, I'll let you say your piece and now I'll, I'll go in. Of course they're different, so I still had polyester linings or rayon or viscose linings, so I still had polyester in my suits in that sense. Now, I think I've eradicated polyester altogether. I don't have any, any polyester linings. It's pure wool suits or pure wool and cashmere suits. Reason being is because I find them, one, more breathable, and two, they just hold up longer in the way they look. I think, when I think back to when I had polyester, I was in school, and all my trousers, all my trousers and my jackets became shiny over a while and they just started changing colour and but the material didn't degrade, it just changed mm. colour and deformed. It was weird. So that polyester is so robust that it, it lasts long. So that's why it's good for like uniforms and blah blah blah. But if you want to look good, I'll steer clear. That's just my opinion though. One hundred percent. In terms of yeah, percentage that you should have in your suit material, zero. Uh Joshua pretty much explained it all. It's it's not great for longevity. Mm. Um, and again, in terms of the linings, yeah, you want to go for the the viscose or the rayon or the um, oh, his name escapes my head now. The Benberg Benberg uh, type of materials because and obviously there's a silk as well um, because those have breathable quality. So when you're wearing the suit. The last thing you want is for all the heat to be trapped inside the heat and the sweat. You need something that's going to allow it to escape. Polyester doesn't allow that. So when you have polyester linings, it's just gonna it's gonna hold everything inside, and eventually that's not a good mix. It just gets musty. Yeah, the suits gets musty. They don't stay fresh, and they just look horrible. Mm -hmm. I think that's when they look horrible. To be fair. Yeah. Yeah, putting steam against. This is the thing. Like you can imagine. 
we always recommend if you're gonna um, try and get creases out of your suit to steam them. Mm -hmm. So if you can imagine putting steam against plastic, because that's essentially what polyester is, it's plastic. So what happens when you put hot heat, you mix heat with plastic, it's just gonna get that burning plastic smell and it's horrible. Or it's just gonna get shiny. That's where, that's where the shine comes from, when you start burning the plastic and it just starts getting, mm -hmm. yeah, it just looks horrible. Yeah, so, I mean, Obviously, it all depends on your budget. If that's all your budget can afford, then fair enough. But if you have the option of picking a full 100% wool over a wool polyester blend, yeah. never go for the blend. Yeah, I wouldn't. Again, the other option is, as Joshua mentioned, if it's for your uniform wear. If you're going for a corporate uniform that a lot of people are wearing, are gonna wear, and you need it to be hard wearing, then yes. Get something that has um, some uh, man-made fibers because yeah. that way it It'll will last. hold up you know they can wear it five times a week and it's gonna still remain the last uh, also they buy them in bulk so if even if it looks rubbish after about two years or so no, nobody cares yeah they give you yeah. Uh, you know what I mean it's, it's, they buy it in bulk so that's the whole reason why uniforms polyester I recommend but if it's not a uniform mm. no nah. nah. yeah like I said if you have the option don't go for it. There's there's nothing great about it, especially if it's 55%. That's a lot of polyester. That's a lot of polyester. Yeah. And one thing I will say is that if you go for a wool suit, now, it don't get me wrong, the, the budget is going to go up, right? Mm -hmm. So we certainly did mention budget. However, if you invest in that wool suit, even if it's a couple hundred pounds more, it's going to last many, many more mm -hmm. years longer. If it's, if it's made well, the years in which it lasts going to be the thing is, so much multiples over there. It's polyester. actually, it actually won't be even be a couple hundred pound more. It'll, it'll literally be if it's a hundred pound more for the fabric, you know, unless it's like okay, you're paying five pound a meter, which you might be at, uh, you know, fifty five percent. Um, you know, it, it shouldn't cost you that that much more. I think about it, it. Let's, let's work it out because I don't know that many pure wool suits that go for less than like five hundred. 400 pounds, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Whereas the polyester blend ones, you can easily get one for 80 quid. No, but you're talking about off the peg. Yeah, but no. even off the peg? Yeah. How no. many pure wool suits off the peg are less than like 400 pounds? Pure, pure wool. Yeah, but I'm talking about if you're going for tailored option. Oh, sorry, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. if you're going for off the peg, then you're gonna get more than likely uh, a polyester any blend. tailored option that offers you a polyester blend. Yeah, they are. Are they? Yeah, oh. like depending if you get the fabrics, if the fabric you go for is a polyester blend. Okay, I'm then, trying to think who offers that. I'm trying to think about all the tailors you've been to. No, all the fabrics. If you, if you go, if you go to Asia, you're gonna get fabrics that uh, have the polyester Asia, blend. Something of it, yeah, yeah. I was thinking of London. Yeah, yeah, no, London, they won't because they know. Yeah, because they know it's not great. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. If you're that's the type of places I think in Asia and, and so forth, huh. the Middle but, East. But how would you know anyway? If you're going and to that's Asia, the problem. they'll yeah. lie to you. You're probably gonna pay for a wool one and get a polyester anyway. And, and <laughs> this is the thing. <laughs> so they may charge you an extra 50 pounds. If they're reputable, yeah. it's probably, you'll probably get it. But if not, yeah, it's a gamble, it's a gamble. I mean, yeah, yeah in all honesty, yeah, no, I reckon you're gonna pay a lot more. I think you pay a lot more in difference between polyester blends and even on made to measure. Yeah, Even but again, it all depends where you're getting it from. If you're getting it from the UK, mm. then they it won't be an option that they offer you anyway. Mm. But if you get it from Asia, then you have to specify that that's what you want, yeah. and the price won't be that much different. Yeah. But um, yeah, can, off off the peg. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that, that's a that's I'm a complete different. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, either way, avoid it. I avoid. Yeah, I'll just avoid it. I'll avoid it. But it, it it does. Did he even mention budget? Let's see. Did he no, mention budget? I don't he didn't. Think he did. he didn't mention budget. So. He, he said he he felt it was all, all right. The thing is, the uh, feel is complete. with the choice of fabric. Yeah, the feel is also completely different. So you it will feel a lot more rougher when it has a polyester uh, blend. Yeah, it feels it. robust. Okay, so this is the thing. I mean, you always have to bear in mind that when it's brand new, it's always going to feel a certain way anyway. But what we're talking about here is how is it going to feel after 10 wears? Mm -hmm. A steam, a couple of times it's been steamed, and I don't know, like after about six months, how's it gonna look then? How's it gonna feel then? And that's what you need to worry about because if you're gonna spend X amount, you're pretty much throwing it down the drain, for, or not throwing it down the drain, or you're only spending it for a certain period of time for it to be fresh. After a while, it's just gonna wear away and look raggedy, in my opinion.
Yeah, no, anyway. I, I, I agree. I agree. Um, you know, if it's your your only tailored suit and yeah. that's all you want. Sorry, I'm looking over there. There's a dog running up on the roof. Yeah, there's and a dog someone on the roof. running after it. Yeah, by the way, we're here. Yeah, okay. Bring a dog to work, day. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, I've lost my point, but either which way. Yeah, we've made it several times. No polyester. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. All right, moving on. Cool. Till next week. Till next week, guys. Well, listen, look, I hope you learned something from this. Take the good parts, throw away the rest. I hope you can take the polyester. Throw away the polyester. This is it, leave it out. I hope you continue to email us in your questions and your points and your your praises for this channel. Not praises, but you know, I mean the support, we love it. Every single message we get, we love it. But so email us at ask at Continue to like, subscribe, comment, and share this video. And continue to interact with us on our several social media streams. <laughs> streams. Yeah. Several social media streams from Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. YouTube. All right, in a bit. All right, see you later, guys. We're definitely far away. That's what I'm saying. And now, now it I feel like we're very might far be. away. Yeah, that's about. Well, actually, no, let me look on this phone. Twitter. Drug dealer, only drug dealers have this one. this one. I'm a businessman. Only a businessman has more than my phone. Why? That's what you want to call it.